the tatami stitch, what is it? And some basic properties. The tatami stitch takes its name from the look of the traditional Japanese straw matting that generally has an even geometric weave. In embroidery, the stitch type is usually used to fill larger areas of an embroidery design. The actual stitch pattern is determined by the properties of the stitching that includes stitch angle, stitch length, spacing between rows and the offset of stitches between each row. There are many effects that can be created by adjusting these basic settings. Let's work through them. The stitch angle setting can be found in the specials tab or use the reshape tool you can drag the angle tool to the setting you require. A tip here for knitted fabric, it's best not to run these stitches vertically or horizontally, but at an angle. The overlap setting is to compensate for rows of stitching not meeting up if the final line of stitching occurs along the edge of the object. In this case, three extra rows will stitch to cover any shortfall. The stitch length is the distance between stitches along the line of stitches. The minimum stitch length is set to avoid possible thread breaks at the end of each row. The offset fraction is the fraction of the stitch length that the stitches are offset between each sequence of stitch and backstitch lines. Offset fraction and partition lines are an either or situation. The partition line setting divides the stitch length into up to eight partitions to allow you to plot the position of stitches on up to eight stitch and backstitch lines. The inputs are zero through to seven. The angle setting adjusts the angle of the grid of stitch penetrations. Experiment with these settings you will find there are some favourites you may wish to save for reuse. The randomization setting does just that, randomises the stitch placement and is useful in animal fur and other natural designs where the uniformity of tatami is not required. The backstitch method is how the return line is handled at the end of each row. The standard backstitch method is recommended for all close stitch spacing to assist in the reduction of thread breaks or fabric damage caused by the close proximity of stitches. The stitch lines are close enough to stitch a clean edge to the object. When the spacing is further apart, the borderline backstitch may be used to give a clean edge to the shape. This setting is preferred for Trapunto stitch and is automatically engaged when the Trapunto setting is selected. Trapunto refers to the type of stitching used in quilting and in this application simply refers to the wide stitch spacing. The diagonal backstitch is recommended for curved lines of tatami and is ideal for end-to-end -end color blending. There is an endless number of patterns that can be created with these basic settings and more that can be designed with additional elements including color blending, curved fills, motifs, stamping tools and more.